This is episode eight of Walter's Inbox. Welcome. Uh, this is where I share my personal emails with you, emails sent to me by recruiters and hiring managers for open positions right now, mainly positions that are in the field of databases and SQL. And the whole point is I hope this helps. I hope this is helpful. So what I also share with you is a live call with a recruiter. One of the recruiters has sent me one of these positions. And again, this is in the hopes that this will be helpful to someone. That, and what I do in this call is just vet, vet things out. Just try to make sure that as much as I can, that this position is aligned to the skills that I have and that this is something that I can, you know, I could enjoy. I, you know, I want to I wanna enjoy myself where I work. So let's do the work up front and commit after we find out enough information. Anyway, too much talk. Let's jump to the call. So before I, you know, jump into the call, high level notes. I like to just make some high level notes about the conversation with the recruiter. Uh, in this case, it was a recruiter from the company called US Tech Solutions. And they were hiring for a company or a bank. I, I, I didn't, I wasn't familiar with this name, but BNP, uh, it's a bank, a French bank, and they're looking for a technical data analyst. Uh, this position is in Jersey, Jersey City. So let's jump to the call. Call oh, is now being recorded. All right, great. Thank you for okay. uh, agreeing to uh, record the call. And so just, so just tell me about the position. Is this what what is this position for? This is for BNP Paribas, the front space bank, and they're looking for a technical data analyst, and it's a 12-month contract role. So uh, if uh, there is someone who is uh, interested in contract opportunities, um, you know, they can always uh, get in touch with me. Um, they're looking for someone who's um, okay. strong with uh, Tableau, someone who can do dashboard visualizations in Tableau, uh, someone who can, uh, you know, collect the data sets, uh, data extraction, data preparation, you know, uh, who's comfortable with the ETL process. Um, okay. I did send you a mail with the job description on maybe like Thursday or Friday. Uh, one second. Oh, okay, okay. So I'll, I'll double check and circle yeah, around. I and can see follow that. Um, again. But you, you mentioned so the 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 client. Um, who did you say the client was? Uh, it's a BNP Paribas. They're based on I guess I'm not hearing that too well. What, what, how do you spell it? Uh, it's B as in. And how do you spell it? B for boy, N for uh, Noel, P for Peter, and the Paribas is P A R I B A S. Oh, I see. B N C Paribas. Okay. I haven't, I haven't heard of them, but um, okay. B N C. So I'll, I'll I'll make sure that that's clear in the communication. So that's good. So it's a, a, a contract, um, and it employs the main skills, things like Tableau and uh, SQL. A sequel, yeah, man, mm -mm, someone okay. who has extensive experience with the ETL process, uh, someone who and can, ETL. Okay. yeah, data extraction, data preparation, you know, data, you know, is used, comfortable working with okay. data sets, and if they do have experience with Alteryx, I think, I don't know, if it's another data preparation package, uh, it says Alteryx, okay. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, so that's, you know, if they do have that experience, that would be great. So, um, okay. So, tell me, um, how how long has this position been been open? Uh, it was out on Friday, I think Friday or Thursday, and we're still looking to gather candidates' uh, resumes and just send it out to them. Okay. Uh, so, how so long? Pretty has new. How many? How many? Go ahead. Uh, sorry, can you repeat that? How many? So I was going to ask, like, how have many people been submitted already to this position? Uh, we've just submitted one, but we aren't too sure if uh, the person will be shortlisted uh, for an interview. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's a little hard to find good data analysts. I mean, with the experience that they're looking yeah. for, 
So, so, and that's yeah, that's that's definitely something that um, you know, hopefully by sharing this, that that will be helpful in, in filling this position. But um, just a couple more things that's going to help people, you know, make sure that this is a good fit for them. Um, as, with regard to this this uh, position in your company, are you guys the uh, exclusively marketing this, or are other uh, firms marketing this position as well? So we are like a preferred vendor, and BNB has about five to six preferred vendors, the ones who get the requirements, uh, you know, uh, before anyone else, uh, as soon as it's released, okay. comes to us. So there, it's not just us. There are other five vendors as well, but uh, but we are like okay. the first line of vendors for uh, sending out candidates. Okay. Okay, that's, that's definitely so, good to understand. Um, and as far as the, the, I guess what the number one question a lot of people ask is about the compensation uh, for this, seeing that it's a, a contract um, and you guys want these specific types of skills, what uh, what is the budget for this position? Uh, well, it depends on the experience. I mean, if the person has lots of experience, we would probably be offering uh you know six hundred dollars and above on this um but uh, someone with like just five six years of experience we are offering about you know six hundred to six ten dollars a day but if it's more experience then it, we definitely can go about that so and that's that's the daily rate. so can you translate that to hourly rate that's uh what's that uh, per hour um about one second Sorry to make you do the so math, I can, but. Oh, yeah, no problem. Uh, I just want to make sure that you do have uh, a good set of data analysts, analysts so that I can forward to BNP. So as long as I do get my <laughs> candidates, I'm fine with that. So I can do about $70 an hour on W2, but this is for someone who's probably slightly, uh, you know, more junior and, you know, maybe like with three or five years of experience. I would look for at least three years of experience. At least three years. That's, at that's least three years. And, um, and for someone more senior, I could go as far as $80 an hour. Okay. But this so, would be a daily rate. It won't be an hourly rate. So 80 into 8 would be like six forty dollars a day. Okay, I got you. So that, that's definitely very helpful and clear. So, uh, so on the lower end of it, uh, experience about three years, uh, you can go do about 70 an hour and the more experience, I would say probably maybe five to seven years or so, you can go up. Five as eighty dollars an hour, yeah. Eighty an hour. That's that's good. Um, and the only other key question is like, what is the phone? Uh, what is uh, the interview process like? Is that involve a phone call? Uh, what's what's the, uh, what does that look like? Two rounds of interview. It's going to be a telephonic interview and then an in person. One telephone, one in person. Okay. Mm -hmm. And do you know anything? Can you can give us any insight about uh, the inter people who will be interviewing. Is are they the oh, nature that, of it? Is it a technical interview or? I do not have that information with me right now. But then once okay. the candidate gets shortlisted and called for a telephonic interview, we okay. get the details then. Okay. All right. So that's usually we have that information for the other roles. For now, we do not have that. For this specific role, we do not have that information. Okay. Who the hiring that's, manager is. That's okay. But I mean, so far you've painted a very nice picture. I think uh, myself included is very much more in a better decision-making position for this. Um, the only thing is, like, where where did you get my resume? I think on DICE, yeah, most of DICE, DICE. or Career Builder, okay. one of them. I think it's DICE, yeah. Okay, okay. All right, so I think uh, I think I have everything that I need to have to just make um, to make a good decision on this. I'm going to look at your, you did send me an email you mentioned, so I'm going to look at that email and um, just kind of go through some more detail. And I will definitely share this with the, the wider community, uh, like I mentioned, I mean, um, both that would be very email. helpful, Walter, but also I just would like to move really, really fast with this process because it's been out for two days. The sooner yes. we send out the candidates, the you know, the the faster the response or you know, the chances of they being shortlisted for interview and things like that. So just want to check, Walter, you are not actively looking for opportunities in the market? Like, are you just going to... I, I am looking. So, you know, that's... Um, so this is sort of like helping myself and others at the same time. So... So no, that's okay why I myself am going to examine. 
Well, let me, let me I just want to take a look at the, what helps me personally is just to read through the email so that I can just kind of look at the skills and make sure and everything. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm going to respond to you via that email and either let you know that, yes, I want to go forward or, yes, someone else wants to go forward and has been shared. Um, okay. And uh, but how soon can I expect your response? Because I will follow it up a call, with a call again uh, just to check for... Um, uh, you know. Sure. Um, I'm, as, soon as, as soon as I get in front of my computer, which I'm not in front of right now, um, so I'd say give me about... Uh, a half hour to an hour. Okay, yeah, that, that's and something I, I you can definitely some response to. Yeah, yeah. And I will, you know, give you a okay. call if you're interested. All right. Yep. Thank you so much, Walter, for all the support. Right. And if you could just forward it. Certainly to appreciate your time. All right. Thank you. Thank yes. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. You've explained it. You've explained quite well. Thanks again. Oh, thanks. Bye. 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 That was it. That was it. Uh, I think uh, it was very direct. It was good. If you're interested in this, if you have two cents about it, you had a similar experience, you know the company or some part of the company, some of the parties, whatever, or whatever the reason. My point being, please leave your two cents. Uh, you know, just please leave your insight, your wisdom, your experience, your knowledge, or your questions, and help out the next person, myself included. So jump back to this real quick. This was the little synopsis, and this was Walter Inbox, Walter's Inbox, episode number eight. Peace.